Welcome to Concordia On Air. Here's what's coming up on tonight's show. In news, American hikers released. More sunny weather on the way. In sports, live volleyball footage. Get into the swing of things on A&E. All that and more. Stay tuned. I'm Dylan. And I'm Grace. And we're your hosts. We're so excited that you're here. Yay. Definitely. Yes. So, this family weekend. Family weekend. Huge weekend. Family weekend. Mm-hmm. We had a great time. Mike Super, the magician, was up. We both went. Awesome show. Mm -hmm. Definitely we were there. still confused about it. <laughs> we were kind of, we, we were thinking, we should do some magic tricks, but then I figured out, I am no good. No good at magic, so. We are not magicians. I'm sorry. No magic tricks for you. But, you know what? I have a joke. Are you my joke? Sure. Okay, ready. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dwayne. Dwayne who? Dwayne the bathtub. I'm drowning. <laughs> <laughs> Great joke. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, I, I love it. Huh. Knock, knock, that was best. funny. Oh, I'm glad. <gasps> funny? You know what? Fun. We should think of some fun things that we could do because, you know, cold we're weather. We're stuck inside all the time now. Might be coming. You might be stuck inside. Okay, we're going to make a Look. list. Ten? Ten? Ten things that Ten we Ten things. Do. Okay. Yep, definitely. Hmm. Well, we could play board games. Board games. What's your favorite board game? Life or Clue. They're definitely okay. my favorite. I like Sorry and Sorry. Shoots and Ladders. Monopoly. Junior. Cards. That's really good. Yep. Um, what else can we do? Um, we can make funny music videos. Yeah, funny videos. Like, That'd be great. Put them on YouTube. That'd be cool. <laughs> we could bake cookies, cookies or bars. Cookies. What's your favorite thing to bake? Chocolate chip cookies. They're amazing. Yeah, you can't go wrong. You can't mm -mm. go wrong with chocolate chip cookies. I mean, come on. Well, if you guys aren't sick of reading, you can find a good book and read. Yeah, listen to good music. Music and dance. Yeah, you can blast the music in your dorm room and dance and have so much fun. That'd be a great idea. My roommate and I do that, and we have jumping parties uh -huh. when you get really, really bored of studying. That'd be, you know, a good way to release your endorphins, get stress out of your life. I mean, really, it's, it's, it's awesome a nice release. To do. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, what Anything else could else? we do? I oh, know. I heard there's scuba diving on campus. We could go scuba diving. Yeah, go scuba diving. I mean, come on. That'd be great. That's good. That's good. Um, hmm. I don't know. You know what? I have some fun corn facts. Because okay. Because we're robbers, we need to know these corn facts. So here we go. Okay. Okay. So corn is grown on every continent except Antarctica. All right. But before Christopher Columbus, it was only on North America and South America. That's an interesting fact. And it was so valuable back then that it was used for money to get, like, food and furs. So if we had so much corn because we're cobbers, we'd be rich. Like Pocahontas. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, that's cool. Hmm, what else could we do that's fun? Well, I think we'll have to think about that. And for now, we're going to send it over. Welcome to News. I'm Maddie Campbell. And I'm Sam Honstadt. Two American hikers have finally been released from prison in Iran after more than two years in confinement. According to the Associate Press, Joshua Fatal and Shane Bauer, who were originally from Minnesota, were originally detained after accidentally crossing into Iran while they were hiking along the Iraq border in 2009. Last month, the men were convicted of espionage and sentenced to eight years in prison, but they were unexpectedly released last week and are now back in the United States. Students here at Concordia will be putting on the production of Grease in mid-November. This is a great opportunity for many students to showcase their talents. Freshman John Weehy, playing Johnny Casino in the production, says Grease has been great so far. The people have been very welcoming and are all very talented. The age-old songs you love to hear from the movie are back and rocking. Well, now you can be a part of the musical aspect of Grease. Auditions for The Pit will be held Friday to Sunday, September 28th through the 30th. They are looking for a pianist, ba bass, drums, two guitars, and two tenor saxes. For more information, contact Dr. Meyer or check outside his door in the music building, Havitston 112. The Carl B. Ilvesacker Library will soon have a new collection of books. 
on its shelves. According to the Core News website, Concordia was one of 150 colleges chosen to receive 224 books from the International Society of Science and Religion, also known as ISSR. According to its website, the ISSR is dedicated to facilitating the dialogue between the academic disciplines of science and religion, and all of the books in the set somehow relate to those topics. The organization started their library project in 2010, and colleges around the world compete to be one of the schools chosen to receive a collection. Ten days in Edinburgh, five days exploring the Highlands, including the Isle of Skye, and two weeks in Glasgow. Yes, the opportunity is now available to study in Scotland. The title of the course is The Ethnographic Essay, and you can be a part of this culturally immersive experience next summer. There are two chances to come to interest meetings. Tonight, September 28th at 6.30 p.m. in Gross Hall 333, or Monday, October 3rd, also at 6.30 in Gross Hall 333. If you would like more information, contact Carla Knudsen or Andrew Lidner. Mike Super helped kick off Family Weekend last Friday night and was indeed a superstar. Mike was named the 2011 Entertainer of the Year and was a smash hit here at Concordia. Super's jaw-dropping illusions, humor, and upbeat attitude were the very things needed to start our weekend off right. His use of the audience continued to engage everyone even further, and many left feeling better than they did before the show. For anyone who has missed it, definitely catch him at a future appearance. It is guaranteed you will not be sorry you went. All who attended the family brunch last Saturday were fed with more than wonderful food. Students were also filled with words of wisdom from our new president. Dr. Kraft noted how he finds Concordia a place of integrity with much promise for the future. The music, food, and fellowship helped join each individual family visiting into one big Cobber family. The presentations united all who attended with hope and a greater insight into the future as Concordia students. And now we'll head back to Dylan for an interview. Hi, I'm Dylan, and today we have Emily and Sarah, and they are the captains of the women's rugby team. <laughs> rugby team. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. It's okay. So can you explain to me what exactly rugby is? Well, rugby is a sport that is really growing in popularity in America right now. Okay. Um, I know, um, like in my hometown especially, there's getting to be a lot of clubs that girls can join. Uh, but rugby is also, you can kind of think of it as a cross between soccer and football. Um, All right. It's a, it's a contact sport, but there's oh. no padding. So that in that way, it's oh. kind of kind of like a combination of the two. Okay, and yep. the ball that we use is uh, it's shaped kind of like a football, but it's rounder like a soccer ball. Okay, okay. Um, how many people usually play on each team? There are 15 people from each team on the field at one time. At one time. Is there mm -hmm. usually more people that they have that's like on the team, but not necessarily on the field? Yeah, uh, substitutes are always a good idea in rugby. Okay. It's kind of a, it's, it can be a, a tough sport. All right, all right. It's a very cardio sport, too. Yeah. yeah. We have 40 minute halves, so oh. you get kind of tired of running and things like that. So. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, so I see you guys have some injuries. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to explain to me about those? <laughs> Well, these, okay, well, this isn't really typical. Um, no. I dislocated my shoulder last Saturday in the game. Um, that's not going to be something that's necessarily going to happen in rugby. I, <laughs> <laughs> I've dislocated it before, so okay, it's going okay. to happen again sometime. Um, but it was very intense. I tackled a girl who was twice my size, and Ooh. she went one way and I went the other, and stuff yeah. happens. Yeah. So. And, and I just kind of had a... I don't know. I I didn't feel anything really. Like I had a fist go into my into my face, but I didn't really hurt that bad. Yeah. And the next morning, I kind of woke up with like this big black spot and eyes swollen shut. So oh, that was great, yeah. and just kind of screwed up the knee a little bit. But mm. yeah, these aren't generally typical. <laughs> well, the bruise. The bruise is <laughs> yeah. typical. I mean, I've got them all over, but <laughs> yeah. But. Um. So I heard you guys have a prom dress rugby game. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Sarah's actually wearing the shirt from last year's tournament. Last oh. year's tournament was held at MSUM. Okay. Um, and teams from all over the area come and play rugby in prom dresses, guys and girls. Oh, okay. <laughs> the guys are the best. Guys yeah. are definitely the best. <laughs> are they like the prom dresses from high school, or um, do well, they just go get them somewhere? Oh, not, yeah, they're, no, they're, no. They're, not they're not necessarily prom prom dresses. They're um, just... Savers prom dresses. Savers prom dresses. <laughs> okay, okay. Some are granny dresses, some are wedding dresses. Yeah. 
Yes. 80s prom dresses, that sort of thing. All sorts of things. Last year I started with a dress with straps, by the end it was strapless. <laughs> oh, okay. So there's lots of things that go on in that yeah. game. Yes. Yeah. Like um, we said, it's a contact game. So yeah. Like um, tear. What got you guys interested in rugby and got you to start playing it? Well, I had an RA my freshman year that was um, the president of the rugby team at the time. Okay. So I didn't start that year because I had too much music stuff going on, but afterwards, the next year, my sophomore year, I decided to join because it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So How about you? Um, well, I'd heard about it, and it seemed like it would be a really fun way to get some exercise and get outside and Stay be active, part of a definitely. team. Stay active, And it really, it really was. It's oh, a great way to be involved. That's cool. Here. What about the boys' rugby team? They're, um, they're trying to start up a boys' rugby team, so if there are any guys out there who are interested in playing rugby, yes. um, come find us or... Um, let let the uh, let us know and we'll help you get get in contact with who you need to get in contact with. All right. Well, over to weather with Emily. Hi. Look at the great weather that we've been having today. Um, all across the country, it's just been warm weather. I mean, down in Texas, we're in the 90s. Um, up here, we were more 80s ish, but uh, really, really nice, warm, summery weather. I love it. Um, as you can see, there's not really a whole lot of activity going on right now. Um, there's a little bit over in Michigan, but other than that, pretty clear skies. And that's kind of all across the country. I mean, Michigan really kind of Michigan, New York area, kind of all that's getting it. Um, and now for our five day forecast. Uh, today was amazing. I think we topped at 84 degrees. Um, tomorrow is going to be a little bit chillier, 61. Springish, fallish weather. Um, it's going to be kind of windy because of the cool down. Um, but then we go, or go into Friday with sun, 62, nice weather again. And then this weekend, 71 and 79 for on Sunday. So that's going to be kind of nice to get out and do a bunch of different things. And you could even enjoy your weekend now skipping because weather is going to be so amazing. So there you have it and we'll send it over. Wow, looks like all the families had a great time seeing their families this weekend. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey coppers, good evening and welcome to sports. I'm Katie Stout. And I'm Yao Bodum. Moneyball starring Brad Pitt was quite a home run this weekend in theaters. Brad Pitt plays a baseball manager who tries to win the World Series by drafting his players with the help of a computer, statistics, and Jonah Hill. Some may say he does the unexpected. Baseball fans have been praising the movie as a must-see. The movie's estimated budget is $47 million. This movie is great for anyone that has a passion for baseball or just needs a good date idea. Visit your local theater to see this weekend's hit. The Cobbler soccer team has been struggling to add to their wins lately. Uh, this week, over the family weekend, the boys took on Carlton and, lo and at, looked at first they were going to an take another home with another loss with Carlton, scoring two goals in just the first 10 minutes. However, thanks to our sophomore, Bobby Spocha's 24-yet goal, it was set Cobber only one goal behind. In the second half, Cobbers definitely had some great opportunities to score. Unfortunately, at this time, the Cobbers couldn't pull through. With family weekend lost at another at St. Thomas yesterday, the boys have lost three games in a row. The next game is at October 4th against St. Mary's, home out on the Cobbers' line. Come on, let's cheer Cobbers. And now, here's Hanno at Memorial. The Concordia volleyball team is battling... I'm here in Memorial Auditorium tonight, and as you can hear and see behind me, the women are really getting pumped up. There's a lot of loud music. They're getting ready for their game tonight. The Concordia volleyball team is battling against the St. Thomas women tonight. With a 13-3 and record, it's bound to be a great game in Memorial Auditorium. The volleyball team beat St. Catherine at the family weekend festivities after a rough loss to Bethel during the previous week. Senior Cobber Amy Sakura, who a couple weeks ago was named Mayak Setter of the Week, came out of the St. Catherine game with 36 assists and 10 digs. Senior Jenna Green also came out with 16 kills and 10 digs. 
Visit www.gocobbers.com to see the results of tonight's game versus St. Thomas, or just come out and join us here tonight. Back to you guys in the, in the studio. This past weekend, the Vikings added another loss to their record as they played the Detroit Lions. Their current record is 0-3, so, so it seems if only the sports news I've been delivering is negative. If we can't count on the Vikings to represent Minnesota, how about the Minnesota Lynx, eh? The Minnesota Lynx are currently first in the league with a total of 27 wins and only 7 losses. Their last game was played on the 25th against the Phoenix. The Lynx scored 103 points against the Phoenix Mercury. The 103s can be traced back to the 6 steals and 16 fast breaks the girls had. The next Lynx game is Sunday against Atlanta at 8.30. Let's take a look at the top five sports news stories this week. Four-time Winter X Games slope-style gold medalist Kayla Tursky has been signed as Nike's first female free skier. Number two, if Cobber Soccer isn't filling your soccer fix, FIFA Soccer 12 is now available in stores. Visit ESPN.com for a free demo. Number three, U.S. star goalie Hope Solo is now showing her moves on Dancing with the Stars. Tune in every Monday night to see on ABC to see her perform. At 4, ESPN Sports Nation is asking the question, should NCAA rules allow the result of a game to be reversed after it's over? Good question. Cast your vote at ESPN.com. At number 5, last this Saturday is a busy day for Cobber Sports. Men and women's soccer will be playing St. Mary's, the football team will be in Gustavus, and the golf teams are competing in the Mayak Championship. For more information, visit GoCobbers.com. The Cobber football team had a game against ranked number three St. Thomas. The Cobbers shocked the fans as they, score a touch, as they scored a touchdown in the third play of the game. On the 24-yard -yard line, Chris Gilson took a pass from Michael, Michael Dunham and sprinted 76 yards to score the first touchdown of the game. <laughs> the Tommies recovered from the Cobbers' touchdown and managed to score two more on their, of their own in the first quarter. By the second half, the Tommies took the lead of 48-14. to 14. Although thought the Cobbers did manage to rack up some points, it wasn't enough. The final score was 48-30. to 30. The next Cobber game is away Saturday at Gustavus, starting at 1.30. Let's see if Gilson and Dunham can bring us home a win. And now, are you a blogger? Well, then you might want to check this out, guys. There are 10 bloggers, including myself this year. We have five freshmen, two sophomores, and three juniors. Junior Rachel Meyer is one of 10 student bloggers for Concordia's Cobb blog. This is the third full year of the blog. We're supposed to post two to three times a week. Uh, normally it's one to two times a week, depending on what's going on that week and how much is, you know, how busy we are. A lot of my blogs recently uh, have to do with food, uh, food reviews, uh, restaurant reviews, things like that. I talk about uh, biking around town. That's what my latest post was. Well, my favorite post that I did was last spring when Prexy's Pond was really full because of all the snow melting. Uh, my friends and I made a little newscast video about it and how we needed to sandbag around Prexy so that it didn't flood. What does blogging offer to Concordia? I think there's a, the ability as a blogger to provide a, a unique uh, current student perspective uh, for readers because when you check out the Concordia website uh, and you look at all the information, you don't really know what it's like to be a student at Concordia. I, I just think that uh, the Cobb blog is a great forum, especially uh, for prospective students to get, uh, get an idea of what it's like to be a student here. How can someone reach the Cobb blog? Oh, that's very easy. Uh, go to cobblog.cord.edu. And, and the best of, of course, slash Matt. <laughs> For Concordia On Air, this is Paul Flesson. Thanks for the update, Paul. Welcome to AE. I'm Mariah Mullen. And I'm Logan Rydell. This weekend, October 1st and 2nd, artists in the community can enjoy evening activities on campus such as trivia night, grocery bingo, and movie nights. Coming up this Friday is a swing night which is sure to be invigorating. This CEC event will be a chance to switch up your typical dancing style. 
This will be a great event for students who enjoy doing new things and dressing up for the occasion. The Swing Night will be held at 9 p.m. in the Centrum on September 30th. Don't miss out on a great way to get to know people and show off your classy moves. And remember guys, ladies love a man who can dance. This Thursday, CEC will be sponsoring a campus-wide trivia event. Trivia Night will begin at 10 p.m. in the maze, and winners will take home sweet prizes such as cards to Target, Hornbachers, and even the Cobber Bookstore. Themes include TV, TV show theme songs to the first lines of novels. Everyone from trivia masters to simply over-inquisitive people are welcome. I myself am a fledgling trivia master, so I will be attending, and I hope to see you all there. This weekend, October 1st and 2nd, artists in the Fargo-Moorhead area are inviting the community into their studios to demonstrate and show off their collective works. More than 50 local artists at 38 different locations will demonstrate and show their work. These works range from wood and glass to watercolor. The event is totally free, so make sure to visit their studios. Free maps are available at the Plains Art Museums as well as the website www.fmva.us. Last night, Concordia College experienced an event with the famed Libby Larson, one of the world's most renowned living composers. Larson has created a catalog of over 400 works that cross nearly every genre of music, with over 50 CDs as well as being a Grammy, and a Grammy Award winner. It is no wonder that many, many students attended the discussion and performance of her works in the campus centrum last night. From all of us at Concordia, we extend a gracious thank you to Libby Larson. Currently in the Cyrus M. Running Gallery, there is an exhibit examining the cultural context of the veil. This exhibit, which opens the symposium, looks at the veil beyond its issues in religion. Heather Hardister, manager of the Running Gallery, said the artists show us how we might move beyond basic and stereotypical notions about the veil. Many mediums are featured, and the event is free and open to students and public alike till Sunday. Now, for all you gamer, boy, gamer boys and girls out there, I've got the list of the top five most anticipated video game releases of fall 2011. Fighting through the streets of Gotham is Batman, Arkham City, coming at you October 18th. Fourth is Assassin's Creed Revelation. Join Ezio as he takes on the Ottomans November 15, 2011. Battle through the wastelands of rage coming out this October. Blasting it at number two is Battlefield 3. Get it October 25th. Last but certainly not least, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim coming your way November 11th. Now, let's, let's see what, what went, went down, down during family, family weekend, weekend, shall we? We kicked off the day with a family weekend brunch. It was at 9.30 this morning. We had some awesome food and some awesome speakers. And then we moved over to the football game. And now we are here at the ice cream social, serving up some ice cream and talking to some faculty. And tonight at 7.30 is the family weekend showcase. Last weekend, Concordia celebrated its annual family weekend. Family were playing games. Colonel was seen busting out some of his dance moves, and even President Kraft joined in the festivities. Family Weekend is just a great event for Cobber families to all come together and to celebrate the college and celebrate our community that we have here. Um, our turnout this year is really good. We have around 1,300 families registered, and that is definitely up from previous years. For some, Family Weekend is a tradition. This is uh, the second one that I've come for. For others, not so much. My family has never come to family weekend, so I usually sit in my room and do homework. For Concordia On Air, this is Paul Flesson. Awesome. Yeah, family weekend was great. Did you enjoy family weekend? Definitely. Yeah, it was a blast. We, as we said before, we went to the magician. magician. I mean, Mike seriously, Cooper. I'm going to have to work on my magic skills. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of struggling in that area. Oh, well, it's okay. Do you have any other skills? I am great at having fun. Oh yeah, that's a great skill to have. I feel like we were on number six when we left off earlier. <gasps> True. Should we finish the list? We should. We should. OK. So what's number six? Um, surfing the internet. Surfing the great internet. Fun. That's always a good thing to do when you're bored. Mm -hmm. There's like websites such as stumbleupon.com yep. that you can look yep. up, choose a topic. Those are good. Yeah. Um, just follow random people on Twitter. Facebook stock, I mean, we all do it. It's, it's okay. True. So, yeah. And Sim Social is a very addicting game on Facebook. If you're bored, you could do that. It's probably better to read a book. Probably, probably. better. Probably. But, you know, we all need our internet time sometimes. Yep. It's okay. Um, 
Another one would be to call your family yeah. or write, you know, write them a letter. Good. That's a great idea. Because I'm sure your parents miss you. If you have brothers and sisters, they probably yeah. miss you. I mean, yeah. Yeah, oh. it'd be really sad. We Does can it? start working on our Halloween costumes. Halloween costumes. Can never get ready. Do you have any early. ideas? No. Princesses. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again with the princesses. Yeah, love them. I mean, what's your favorite one? I don't know, but I know Prince Eric is my favorite prince. Okay, speaking of princesses, vote for homecoming and have a great week, Concordia. Yep. We'll see you later. I'm Dylan. And I'm Grace.